Let's look. It's a recording. Hey, Shalom, Shalom, Shalom. This is a quick one. You know, hopefully it's going to be edifying to the spirit and power of the Most High Yahweh Basham Yahushai. We'd like to give all praises, honor, and glory to the Most High Yahweh Basham Yahushai Basham Kakadash. A double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone, Jemis. The ones that taught us is true, which is the 100% truth. Peace and salutations to the hopeful elect spread around the four of the earth. Yeah, yeah. You know, pushing this gospel in all sincerity. You know, it's a beautiful thing for the brethren to, to gather together, and you know, we actually enjoying the benefits. It's a, it's a, it's a honor for us to have the brother from from Germany. You know, it's really been beautiful, and all praises to the Most High Yahweh Shem Yahshai for making it possible that we come over here to Rome. You know. So over right out at our front right here we have on uh, the Ark of Titus. Let me show you. We can't go inside because um it's closed right now. You know we didn't make it that early, and apart from that we need to book the, the ticket. ticket online. Yeah. Now you can see a lot of people coming over to see this, and you know the apart from the first thing that the brother is gonna notice, which was the first thing we also noticed the last time we came here, there is a heavy demonic vibration. This um. This monument that the brother just showed is uh, that's that's proof that Esau hates you, man. If you're a Jake, the so-called Negroes, Native Americans, and Latinos, this is a hundred percent proof that Esau hates you. You have the whole world, people from all four corners of the earth, coming around to check out this monument, and this monument is like a, a, a triumph, a triumph for, for 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 Esau, you know. Because if you know your history real well, yeah, go on. It says um. Ezekiel 35 and 1. Moreover, the Lord, the word of the Lord Yahweh came unto me, saying, Son of man, set the face against Mount Seir and prophesy against it. Can and through the spirit, that's what we're doing right now, you know. We're actually facing Mount Seir and you know we're prophesying against it. And I and the brother were having our short conversation real quick because we have the Colosseum also also closed. Yeah. And the brother was saying this place, you know, so many lives of Jakes was taken in this place, you know. Yeah. So we are actually prophesying against this Mount Seir, which, which is speaking about the, the, the head, the, starting from the banking families of Esau, Edom, the so-called white man that's governing the world right now. You can go on. Verse 3, And say unto it, This saith the Lord, Yahweh power, be, Behold, O Mount Seir, I am against thee, and I will stretch out my hand against thee. Hey, the Most High Yahweh Shemir is against this, uh, this, this rulership, you know. This rulership goes against um, everything that the Most High has established, man. This is a rulership that is contrary. They actually walk through the power of Satan, and Satan means adversary. You know, yeah. um, and the these people, it. yeah, can these people are actually they actually the actual wicked that the Most High created, the, the perfect wicked. You know, and the Scripture tells you in the Book of Job that you can make straight what the Most High Yahweh Hashem Yahshai has created crooked. This man is 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 actually fulfilling his his points, and the Most High Yahweh Hashem Yahshai hates him. Yeah, you can you, you can see in the book of Malachi, right? Yeah. It says I've hated Esau. The most I hate this people, and um and, and very soon the world world is going to uh, is going to um is going to experience the, the true hate of the most I when it comes back to his son Yahweh Shai and the host of the of heaven to destroy this power. Okay, go. Malachi chapter one verse um, four. Whereas Edom saith, We are impoverished. Uh, we will return and build desolate places. They were impoverished. That's during the uh, the dark, so-called dark ages, you know. And this is this is also this also goes through uh, goes back to the to the prophecy of uh, of um, of Isaac, you know. Isaac told um, Jacob in the book of um, I think um, Genesis, Genesis 25. twenty-five, you know. He says, um, after you have broken the yoke from your neck, oh, 27, 27. Uh, twenty-seven. After you've broken the yoke from your neck, yeah. you know, then uh, you're going to rule by rule by your sword, you know. So. Esau actually lost power during the, the the ancient Romans, you know, after the the rulership of the let's say the Domitian Empire, you know, after the, the rulership of Domitian Empire, you had um, Trajan come in, and that was the beginning of Jake rulership, you know. Mm -hmm. So at that time they call it Byzantine, which Byzantine means backwards, you know, and that's where you get the name. Um, what do you call it? Um, um, so-called Dark Ages, because the so-called white man believed that uh, during the Dark Ages, when um, the, uh, the the Jakes the so-called Negroes, you know, uh, called, also called the Moors, they were ruling over Europe. They believed it was a setback for them, you know. So they were impoverished at that time. They were actually, the word sl Slavs comes from slaves, you know, this is Slavonic, you yeah, know. Slavic. Yeah, like, this. Like, uh, what is it? Um, the um, Slavic region in Europe. Can. And we have the, what is it, the, the, the Serbians, the Albanians. Can. This the Balkans, actually. Can. The Slavic people. Can. So these people were actually were pushed back to the uh, to the rocks of the Caucasus in the zone of um, of Russia, you know, 
But then, according to prophecy, because um, heaven and earth shall pass, but the words of the Most High Yahweh Shemi Hashai must be established, you know. Mm -hmm. He said these people were going for, for a short period of time, which was a period of um, a, a, a thousand years, you know, and after they needed to come back like to power. A, like a day of the Lord. Can, like one day. Can, like that was a day. That was yeah, a day. Was just a day that was a day. Can, can, oh, one day passed. Oh, really? Can. Now you're can. back. Can. That's you know? Was, man. So they came back to power, and that's the, the so-called time of the Renaissance, which Renaissance means rebirth, yeah. you know? And when they came back, you know, we have um, the, the Renaissance, the, 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 the being in power at that time. But before then, you know, uh, you had um, this, um, this siege of Jerusalem, which Yahweh Shai, our Savior, also prophesied in the book of Matthew, the 24th chapter. So they came down to, to, to Jerusalem, they besieged Jerusalem. There was a lot of history behind it where, you know, the Israelites got hungry, they started eating themselves, eating their uh, their children, drinking their yeah. peace and like, all that. Um, which king was it? I forgot which king The was king Hezekiah, I think. Um, was it Hezekiah? I forgot, man. That's, because... um, that's the book of um, Second Kings, the sixth chapter. Yeah, okay, let me check it. Because, um, let me finish Malachi real quick okay. and I go there. It says, um, this saith the Lord to power, power of hosts, or the Lord of hosts. They shall build, but I will throw down. Can they've actually built right now, you know, all the monuments we're seeing. In which you have people coming from the four corners of the earth coming to watch and be happy oh this is the monument all this shit is going is coming down and most especially here in rome because you know the book of um revelation the 16th chapter tells you that um both the war which is the united states america and also the the, the false prophets which is the pope which is over here rome in rome these two are going to be cast into the lake of fire which is going to come by the nuclear bombs so all this shit that we're seeing right here now you know that you have people coming from all parts of the world. Oh, this is this is Esau's triumph, and this is a this is a big sign that Esau hates you because this is a wicked history about this. This is a this is a history of loot. This is a history of stealing. This is a history of killing, lying, and shedding of blood. And this is what you have or people from all different parts of the world coming here. To, you know to 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 venerate this this um, monument that Esau has. You know. I think it's the book of um, Second Kings. Second Kings, the yeah. sixth chapter. Um, I'll tell you from the scripture which was mentioned. Oh, okay, the false prophet. Okay, let me get this real quick. Okay, because it's heavy scripture. Can't, can't. You can also find uh, the root words in, um, in, in that app that I gave you. So, so as we're saying, you know, the Most High Yahweh Shemir Shai hates these people in rulership, and they also know it. You know, they're trying to buy time through their propagandas through the lies, through all different kinds of deceptions and um, and um, what do you call it, with all different kinds of sorceries. That's why they need to spray the sky with chemtrails. That's why they need to poison your food, poison your water. Today we were having a hard time to just find good water, man. Yeah, we were because, in the store, you know, right? Yeah, we were in the store just, you know, struggling to find good water and we found just one bottle of water that, con that doesn't contain fluoride in which me personally, I believe they didn't put the floor, they didn't put the fluoride in the, in the tag, but could also be because you know our food is defiled amongst these devils, man, uh, that are in rulership. You know. Watch out. Okay, cool. Yeah, I got it here. Uh, no, it's not the scripture. The scripture's uh, yeah. Revelation 20. Oh, no, I got it. Got it. So, oh, you're looking for the chart? Just go to the chart. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, it's this one. 20, 20 and 10. It's Come. Revelation 20 and verse 10. It says, and the devil. They deceived them, was cast to a lake of fire and brimstone. And when you check out the word devil right there, it's a metaphor, Diabolos, it's a metaphor for a man, okay? It's a metaphor for a man. Yeah. And that man is Esau Edom, the man of sin, Second Thessalonians, the second chapter, which is being revealed right now. You know, the whole world is going against these people. The whole world already found out that this, this man is actually a, a wicked man, man. His rulership is wicked. Yeah, like Scripture say, uncover the thigh. Can. Bear the leg, May bear the, the legs, legs. Can. you know, yeah. uncover the foreskin can. because Esau's been made, made bare, you know, being revealed by his own people and by the prophets, man. Can. Like it says in Second Thessalonians chapter 2, um, the heavenly father consumes Esau uh, with the um, with the words of the mouth, yeah, with his mouth, with, with the word of his mouth, which are the prophets, man. Can. Because this is what we're doing, we're revealing the weakness of Esau, and here you really see that um, Esau keeps up this monument because when you think about it, right, all the other places in Europe. That destructed and restructed, right? Can't. But then they established Rome and let it uh, be like that and keep it like that to show their power. To show their power, yeah. To show their power because yeah, triumph. exactly because when you just watch a see of Spartacus, right? You see just a little glimpse of how many Jakes actually died in the Colosseum. 
you know? The movie Gladiator. The Gladiator, exactly. So you just see a little glimpse, but you have to understand that thousands of lies, thousands of blood, uh, thousands, thousands of um, lies was built, or even more than that, man, was built in the Colosseum, man. And what's that scripture that says, um, ill gotten, uh, ill gotten goods or something? I'm gonna look it up. You just finished it? Okay, yeah, go. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get that. It says, um, Revelation 20 and 10, it says, Cast into the lake of fire and brimstone, where the bees and the false prophets are, and shall be tormented day and night, forever and ever. Can that forever and ever is for a long period of time, you know? Esau Edom, starting with the United States, America, America is going to be destroyed. The false prophet, which is the, 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 the Pope of Rome, and all this, their power holds and everything is all going to go down, you know? So this is the last, let's say this is the last, um, the last, um, the, the last stretch. party, yeah. the last party for Esau. Esau is flexing on Jake right now, you know, with all these monuments and all this. But you know, it's all good. You know, there is a time for everything, as the Most High has established different rulership for certain time. And if you're if you're paying attention through the spirit and power of the Most High, Yahweh you know that truly this is the last rulership that's been spoken of in the book of um, Daniel, the second chapter. You know, that speaks about uh, the feet of um, the feet of um, iron mixed with clay. Mary clay. Mary clay, you know. And you now we've seen everything working in Europe, you know, you see these Europeans, you know, they have the NATO, the European Union, but they're not united at the end of the day. Yeah, yeah because you know? what you see is, for example, right, you have the NATO and the EU, um, and you have the example of Canada, because Canada is a part of NATO, Can. and they said they ain't going to pay the 3% of the GDP. You know, yeah, I'll just be packed because if I stand here, then I'm out of the picture and stuff. So, um, they, they ain't gonna pay the 3% the, the of the GDP that America mandates to be a part of NATO. So, you see already that they're going against it. And also, with all these regulation, uh, regulations and all these um, sanctions that are pushed, certain nations go against what the European Union want to go, uh, what, what they want to establish. establish against Russia, for an example, okay. and against the BRICS nations. A good so, example. A good example is the meeting of um, what do you call him? Um, of Macron. Yeah, no, is it, is it the, the French, French president with uh, with the with the with the Chinese? Xi Jinping. Xi Jinping, and he made a he made a speech, and he said, "We're not meant. We're not supposed to be following uh, the United States on everything that, that they bring out." You know? Exactly, that's the spirit. Because he said, "Like, hey, we should not follow America into the same lane. They should go against it." So it shows already that actually they slowly but surely pardoned the ways, like it says in Revelation chapter seventeen, verse sixteen. Can't. Because the ten horns that were upon the beast shall burn the whole fire, rough paraphrasing. You and you, you see, the scripture tells you really clear in the book of Daniel, the second chapter, that as, as iron does not mix with clay, yeah, partly, it's, strong, it's, it's partly, partly strong and partly weak. These people yeah. are weak, you know. Exactly. And the power, the power they've actually had upon the world world is that you know they were united, and yeah. at the time they were united, you know. Senators if America won. says, "Hey, we're putting sanction on these people, don't trade with these people," then everyone goes against you. Everybody but now, forward. no one is giving a fuck anymore, you know. Yeah. They're bringing out the middle finger to America. Hey, fuck you and your and your and your sanctions. We don't give a fuck, you know. And this shows you that it's all part of prophecy. Yeah, it's all because part of prophecy. In this man. time, it was meant for the nation to rebel against America, but yeah. right now, it's meant for the nation to rebel against America. You know, that's why you see America trying to show dominance everywhere. Like for example, in Germany, like one or two years ago, you know, when they wanted to establish Nord Stream two, America sabotaged them. Huh? America sabotaged them. Why? Because it showed, showed like, hey, you ain't gonna do nothing except we allow it. You know, let me they finish. were also they were also behind the destruction of the Nord Stream. Yeah, that's what I said. Yeah, they destroyed it. They destroyed it 100. percent They just used uh, what is it? Um, hey, the, the middleman. The, 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 what do you call it? The, 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 the evidence is there. You know. Yeah, because if I remember right, pure they, and clear. You they know? said that it was the Norwegians. That the Norwegian um, for Norway, um, uh, uh, what is it? The submarine was there. You know. Yeah. From Norway, the submarine was there. At the time, there was um, uh, sabotage, so it shows you that they just use a different ally, just a middleman, to hide their hands behind it. And let me finish that very quick. Malachi one and four says, "This saith the Lord Yahweh, Lord of hosts: They shall build, but I will throw down, and they shall call them the border of wickedness, and the people against whom the Lord Yahweh has indignation forever." The Most High Yahweh Yahushai has indignation for those people. What's the meaning of indignation? A righteous anger, yeah. a righteous wrath, you know. The Most High has indignation with these people. That's why you see. Um, that's why you say the world is not moving well. You know, 
and this also goes into the scripture in the book of proverbs you know when the wicked are in power the people mourn yep, you know yep, yep, yep. nothing flourishes you know the the, the the ground is not yielding its fruits no more you know you need what do you call it you need um you need um you need what do you call it you need um fertilizers to grow fruit foods yep. you know you need you, you, you <laughs> everything is going wrong now they're speaking about um what do you call it here in italy this, they, they've been speaking lately on the news about um about draft, okay? The draft, yeah. The draft, you know, they're lacking water. But just to come think about it, we're living in a world that's surrounded by water, and we're lacking water, you know. This shows you that the Most High is not happy with these people. The Most High is not dealing with these people. Who did we see? Who was I speaking to some days ago that we were speaking about Israel that they need to import trees into Israel? Was it you? Was, yeah, we were speaking about it because of the trees. Yeah, we were they, speaking. They, they have to import trees they have to, to Israel. Import trees to Israel, you see. Yeah. So the Most High is not dealing with these people. The so-called white man that's in power today, the Most High is not dealing with them. And all this that you see is coming down. It's yeah. coming to crash. You know, it's just a matter of time. If you take the verse at uh, Micaiah, Micaiah, yeah. chapter two, verse ten. My Malachi. No, Micah, two and ten. Micah, Micah, this two, is our rest. Two and ten. Yeah, this is our two rest. Two and ten. Yeah. Okay, can. Okay, okay. I also got the uh, in Kings the scripture. Okay, go, go. The second uh, Kings to the six, and let me start the verse um, twenty-six. Okay, now we're going back to the history of uh, of the siege of, of Rome, you know, and as the scripture tells in the book of Ecclesiastes, the first first chapter, there is nothing new under the sun. That's which that's which has been is that which shall be be okay. again, and you see. Um, it happened back then in, in Jerusalem, we had a siege from our enemies, we were sieged, man, you know, and yeah. the brother is going to bring out some precepts to show you what really went down, you know. The king of Syria came against the us. The king of Syria came against us. Let me say verse 24. Let's go. 2 Kings 6 and 24, and it came to pass after this, that Ben-Hadad, king of Syria, gathered all his hosts and went up and besieged Samaria. And there was a great famine in Samaria, and behold, they besieged it. Until an ass head was sold for four score now, pieces. Now, 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 uh, an ass head. Okay. Yeah. Now, if you go, if you if you go to the uh, to, to the butchers where where you get meat and all that, usually, um, the other day I was at uh, I was at the butchers to get meat, and mm -hmm. you see that they sell the head of a lamb, you know, and that was the the cheapest part of the, of the whole of the whole thing, yeah, because, because there you have the skull. There is no much meat exactly. to eat. Exactly. Less you know? meat. Yeah. Less meat. Mm -hmm. And check out how much it was being sold. It was gold at that time. Yeah, silver, silver. It was. It, 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 I'm just saying it was gold at that time. Oh, you mean you know, gold. it was yeah, what's yeah, gold yeah. at that time? You know. Yeah. And you see everything. You know, everything that happened in the past is a shadow of what's gonna come again. You know. Oh yeah, because can I jump in real quick? Yeah. Because this brother Khalam and I was speaking about it um, on a drive to Rome that we had from uh, the brother's place, and we were speaking about that we are about to enter into the great tribulation, uh -huh. and the greatest tribulation requires the greatest amount of faith. So no, gonna... you said something really beautiful. You said uh, you said um, the time of great tribulation means a time of great faith. Yeah, I said like yeah. this: the greatest, the greatest time of uh, the the time of the greatest tribulation equals the time of the greatest faith, man. Because that's really what it is. Your faith has to succeed everything that our fa our forefathers had. Can't. Because we're gonna go to the worst time I've ever seen before, like it says in the end of the twelfth chapter. So what you have to understand is that um, so like, yeah, that here. Um, the time of famine, it was a very terrible time. But in the time to come, it's going to be more terrible. You know? As has was still there. But like in this time, there was also eating people. So the same the same spirit going to come back on the people. Because this time right now that we're going to enter into, is going to be worse than ever seen before. You can't compare the time of Jacob's travel to anything else. And these people are all going to be caught slipping. Because you see them here on vacation, enjoying the time. Let them enjoy the time. But we know that everything gonna be thrown down by the heavenly father like we read. They shall build, but the heavenly father gonna throw it down. Now that's you know? why the scripture tells you in the book of Romans, um, um the rest the, the rest were blinded, but the elects have received yep, the yep, truth. Yep, you know, the yep, elects yep. can see that this, this is coming down, why the rest blinded are just going in their folly, happy, oh, this yeah. monument is gonna be here forever and all that. You know? Exactly. So let me keep on reading the scripture. I'm gonna let me grab real quick what the brother mentioned. Micah 2 and 10. It's, it's perfect for the situation. For the situation. Micah 2 and 10 it says, Arise ye and depart, for this is not your rest. Because it, pol it is polluted, it shall destroy you, even with a sore destruction. And this is speaking to all you that you, 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 you're actually seeking for careers in this kingdom. Uh, all you Jakes, all you bugged out Jakes, believing that this kingdom is going still going to last for 10 years or whatever. You want to build your firm, you want to build yourself, you want to build your business or whatever. Now, we're not saying you shouldn't work. 
you work but your heart should the scripture tells you that where your eye uh, where your heart is set that's where your treasure is you know single eyes, man. you know your eyes needs to be single and that singleness needs to be towards the kingdom of heaven yep. you know if your eyes is not set to the kingdom of heaven then your eyes is actually set to something else you can't worship the most that yahweh shimei oshai and worship mammon you exactly. know two masters not possible two masters is not because possible. they go against each other they go against the mammon each other on the right. left hand side goes against the heavenly father's right hand side plan Right. So what you have is that they fight against each other. So how are you going to save them both? Right. Because the Heavenly Father says go to the right side, and the Mammon says go to the left side. Right. So how is this possible? You're going to split yourself in two? Like we were speaking yesterday in the camp. You know, you want one of the you want um, side of the brain says go to the right, the other says to the left. You're going to split yourself in two? Come on, it's yeah, impossible, become, man. You become mad, man. They think they think you can they can strike on you to them like Naruto, man. You know, I won't go to the left or to the right, man. But it's impossible. So you have to understand that you have to choose the path that you want to go. I but, think in this situation, in situation, this is an example for the future. Uh -huh. In uh, Roman chapter 15, verse 4. Yeah, whatsoever things are written for, yeah. written for yeah, 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 yeah. The yeah. example on the past is mm -hmm. that yeah, yeah, exactly. he's speaking about but, what's but pre prepared yeah. for the future. Exactly, right. because like the, like the brother was going into, um, what we're going to read here um, in the second, second Kings, the sixth chapter, it's the same exact thing they're going to have. Oh, actually, the worst, worst thing going to happen in the future. This is just a prelude. Because like we said, it's going to be a town like never seen before. Yeah, maybe it's better if we, 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 we had this precept right now. That which was written at all time is written for our learning. Um, let me read it. Let me read it. Okay. Of Romans 15. And what I want to say also, you have to understand that in a time before, yeah. people still knew how to butcher. They knew how to hunt. They knew how they knew blood. Oh, this is something they knew blood. you bringing up, man. You know, but nowadays they all know all what. Feminine motherfuckers out feminine? there. And what they know is technology. Hell, man. They just know the phones. You see a nigga in his crib yeah. with just a tiny spider, yeah. and it bugs the fuck out. Yes, Calling exactly. the, the 911, I got a spider <laughs> in my house. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like the dude yesterday. Remember with the pigeon? Okay, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's spiritual, it's man. A, it's a spirit, man. We saw a dude in Venice yesterday. Big Jake you know, too, huh? A big Jake, buff you know? Too, buff Jake, you man. just had a pigeon, a bird, fly yeah. on his hand, and he was just all bugged out. Oh, like, oh, oh, my God. Oh, my God. He's like, oh, my God. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. I can I look at him. Just look at like him. a tiger walk, walked towards yeah. him. What, what the fuck is he going to do when a lion yeah. walks to him? This shows you the spirit of the Lord has to be upon you because Esau makes everything so easy and so, um, what is it, um, comfortable. That you don't do shit. It's not comfortable. Esau you know? actually takes away the discipline that you you meant to have as a man. Yeah, exactly. That's what he does. But he makes it, he doesn't do comfort it's because a, yeah, think about uh, it. I know I'm I'm not, exactly. I'm not contradicting what you said. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because when you think about it, right? People just don't he even have to go to the store. It pampers you. You don't even have to go to the store anymore. You can he be like, hey, send this shit to my house, like the brother in Holland, yeah. like um. He can, he can, I can do it also in Germany. There's a certain source called Rivers, like one of the major supermarkets in Germany. Over here, the same thing, yeah? You can just go online and if you have enough money uh, in, in your, in your uh, what is it, the card? Enough money on your card, you can just order your, your food and your water to your house. You know, your groceries. So you don't even have to go out of your house anymore. So he's just showing you that he actually really dumps you down and also right. feminize you man that's what, what that's what i want to say you know he dumps you down you know he pampers you and he turns you to a dumb child just like yeah, a, a, like a mother dog. a mother yeah. if you have a child and yeah. your child you don't you don't you don't you don't you don't chastise your child when he goes wrong yeah. you pamper him yeah. hey, what do you want yeah. how do you want it you take him shower you do yeah. this mm -hmm. that child grows up not knowing how to even shave his beards or do <laughs> whatever you know yeah, yeah, that's yeah, exactly yeah. what esau is doing to these people you yeah. know and you see, the scripture tells you that Esau seeks deep. He seeks deep. Is that Psalm 73 or so? You know, it tells you about Esau seeking deep. Esau already, you know, he already got this, um, the, 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 he, got, he got our our lifestyle and everything, got it all figured out. He knows how to fuck you up, man. Oh. You know? Okay. He's all want to separate of this discipline. Yeah. He's all want to separate in the discipline of the... the the, the true justice of the the, the righteousness yeah, yeah. righteous as a matter yeah. of fact the, script, the scripture actually speaks about you putting putting your flesh to check man you know it speaks about discipline how to become a man you know yeah. the that, most i did all that thing to job and you can imagine what the most High is going to tell job man i am going to require this from you you have to be a man be a you man, know yeah. after a man you 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 wrecked a man he lost everything he lost the only thing he had was his breath man his health, everything went down. The most I came back telling him, I am going to require this from you. You have to be a man. You After know? he lost everything. Yeah, After he man. lost everything. Yeah. His wife turned against him. He, everything. Lost, you know? lost his whole life, man. His lost whole, his whole life, his man. His whole life he, was a shambles. Only, yeah, because only they, his bread left. Yeah, because, <laughs> because was, he was sick. It yeah, was exactly. everything, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah.
Um, I think I got the scripture which I was speaking about. Um, Isaiah 29 and 15. Woe to them that seek deep to hide their counsel from the Lord Yahweh, and their works are in, in the dark. And they say, who seeth us and who knoweth us? Can't, because you see, Esau, 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 Esau spends a majority of his money with all these scientists that are nothing but all, all, all witches and alchemists. Alchemist actually means a, 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 a sorcerer. Yeah, which They're is all warlocks. sorcerers and warlocks. They, he spends a lot of his money, you know, trying to look for ways to manipulate you, the MK Ultras, you know, all different kinds of agendas that we don't even know about, man. This is what Esau does. So Esau knows how to spoil you. He knows how to destroy your moral. That's why today, you know, this, this um, rainbow agenda has been pushed heavily yeah. on the people. You know, people are not fighting for the right of uh, of the Palestinians that are dying every day. They're not fighting for the for the rights of the Yemenis that are dying every day. But they're fighting for the rainbow people. A man who wants to chop his, his dick off and, and call himself a woman and all that. Yeah, Esau is gonna support you. He 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 and he. What is it? You know, you have certain surgeries that the, that the health insurance doesn't cover. Can't. But then he covers that. He covers that. That's man. actually that's actually what is it called? A uh, beauty beauty. Uh, um, what is it called? Operation. Cosmetic. Be cosmetic is an operation, exactly. But he's still functioning. Why? Because this plays into his agenda. You know? This plays into his agenda huh? of what? Turning things upside down, which is the next verse. Turning things upside down. It yeah, says, Surely the turning of things upside yeah, yeah. down shall be esteemed as a potter's clay. Can't. For shall the work say of him that made it, he made me not. Or shall the thing framed say of him that framed it, he had no understanding. And that's exactly what this man is doing, that's man. Spirit, man. That's why that's why you know he he has a scientist, they're trying to they just actually found out how to create um uh, synthetic cells. You know, they found out how to create um uh, uh, designer babies. What do you need all that from? What do you need all that for? If the most I Yaba Shemiao Shai created man, you know. Oh, we got five percent left, huh? Five percent. Hey, yeah. okay, that's good. I think um hey, through the spirit we're gonna continue, we're gonna have a part hey, hey, two. Can you this kingdom, this society, uh, push, push, um, push you, push the, the spirit youth? of us. Uh, if uh, believe in the in the society, believe in the creature, uh, if not in the, the in the creature. Can can. What is this the is brother saying is that the spirit of this uh, of this um, kingdom pushes us to believe in the creature rather than the creator. Romans, uh, um, what is one, uh, Romans? 25. Yeah, Romans, Romans 1 and 25. Romans 1 and 25. That's yeah. it. Yeah. Your part. Your part. And, and, and the great tribulation, the, the, the oh, sir, lo scopo, is for you believe not in the creator, not in you, not in nothing, but, but you in, believe only in the creature. In the creature. Uh, hey, let's close this thing because I don't want the, the video to, to... Yeah, I can stop it and we can go with another phone if you have a second. Okay, okay, stop it. Let's go with another phone.